Hello isopod fans, it's Wally from Supreme Isopods. Gosh, I can't seem to get this hat straight. It must be that I need a haircut bad. This is Wally from Supreme Isopods and we have a special video for you. I get a lot, a lot of questions about what size tub should I use for my isopods? What size enclosure should I start my isopods in or move them to or keep them in? Well, this video is going to answer that question, and at the very end of the video, I'm going to share with you a couple of real key exceptions to the rules that I'm going to give you on how I decide on what size of an enclosure I should have for my isopods. The isopod vlog. In a video that I did a while back, I shared with you the point of keeping your enclosures consistent. This video is going to be talking about consistency keeping everything the same. And I'll share that video right about here. But I'm gonna tell you right now, all of my enclosures are not the same size. They're just not. And that's because I've added and added and added over time isopods, and I've selected the enclosures that I needed at the time. Now, most of my enclosures are about the same size, but some are different and there's reasons for different sizes. And I'm gonna share with you right now those reasons. So basically I have four different sizes of enclosures for our isopods. The smallest being a six quart. The next size is, and the most common enclosure that we have, is the 12 or 15 quart. The next size up is a 27, I'll call it flat enclosure. And the next size up is a 27 quart deep enclosure. So most people would start either on the smallest end or the largest end, I'm going to start right in the middle. The 12 and 15 quart enclosures are our most common used enclosures, and I like to use them for medium-sized isopods and well-established groups. So when I have a group that's really going strong, I'll move them into a 12 or 15 quart enclosure. I love this size enclosure for the Armadillidium maculatum, zebra isopods, as well as many others. So. What do I use the small enclosures for, the six quarts? Well, I use these for, number one, small isopods. Those small isopods include Nabia capensis, the party mix isopod, Venizillo parvis, which is a really, really beautiful isopod, but they're super small. I like a six quart for the Cuberus murina, the roly-poly isopod, and okay, maybe you want to consider something a little bit different with them, but we keep them in six quarts. And I love the size enclosure for the Armadillidium Versicolor. The second reason that I use these small six quart enclosures is for a new isopod setup. So if I'm starting a new isopod, I'll set them up in a six quart just so I can manage that group a little bit better. Usually I buy the groups in uh, counts of 10 or 12 or 15, I'll start them in the six, I'll watch them, I'll make sure that the conditions are set for them, it's not too dry, it's not too moist, they're eating the food, and after they establish themselves, after they have, have a couple of broods of babies, then I'll move them into the 15 quarts. The third reason I keep isopods in a six quart enclosure is if I find a different color morph. If I find something different in, in a culture, I'll isolate those isopods into a new setup into a six quart setup. I keep a lot of isopods in the 27 quart flat containers. These are the big ones. And there's three different reasons I keep isopods in those containers. The first is, and you probably guessed this, because the isopods themselves are big. This includes isopods such as the Porcelio Hoffman Sagai, and the Porcelio Expansus, and certainly the Porcelio Magnificus. Big, big isopods. They like lots of room to spread out. Another reason I use these large, flat, 27-quart containers is for easy, fast-breeding isopods. This includes dairy cows and the convexus isopods. They just really multiply well, and they do well in these flat containers. And the third reason we use these flat containers, the 27 quarts, is for fast-selling isopods. We like to do our Armadillidium maculatum zebras in 27 quarts, and we also like to do the Spanish orange in these 27 quart containers. 
So why do I have a 27 deep enclosure? Well, I mentioned the Cuberus Marina before and I'll bring them up in just a second. I like these deep enclosures for two reasons. Number one, an isopod that likes to dig or an isopod that likes to climb. So for diggers, we keep our giant canyons in these deep, deep enclosures and we keep the substrate about four to five inches deep. Armadillidium corsarium is another isopod that just loves to spread out and go all over the place. I consider them a climber. They like branches. They like to get up on top of things. They like to really move around. And these deep enclosures are perfect to add branches and other material so that they can climb on top of that other material. Early on in my keeping of Porcelia scaber lottery mix, I had a lot of issues with this isopod getting out of their enclosures. So there's two ways to solve that. Number one, a real tightly sealed enclosure or a deep enclosure so that it's a lot harder for them to crawl out of. Porcelio Scaver Lottery Mix breeds easily and quickly and will fill up one of these deep enclosures. So now you know the reason I keep four different containers instead of having everything consistent. There's absolutely perfect reasons for that, but there are exceptions. And those exceptions are the following. Remember I said that I like small enclosures for small species? Well, what's the biggest species? Well, that's Hoffman Sagai, Porcelio Hoffman Sagai. Why in the world would I keep them in a six quart? Well, the answer is easy. Earlier this year, I took groups of Hoffman Sagai, two males and four females, and put them into six quart containers. I did this so the females had plenty of space to spread out and raise their young. This is a species that loves to nurture their, their young baby isopods and they like a lot of space and that six quart allowed me to keep those females separate. It was just a perfect, perfect setup. I had mentioned earlier that I have those 27 flats for fast breeding isopods such as the dairy cows. Well some isopods breed way too fast even for those enclosures. My Florida Fast will fill up a 27 quart within just a few months. It's just crazy. So instead of having all of those isopods, I keep those isopods, the Florida Fast, in six quarts as well. When I get too many Florida Fasts in that six quart, I'll take some and I'll feed them out to our geckos. We actually have four containers right now for that purpose. Florida Fast, Powder Blues, Powder Orange, and Armadillidium nasatum peach. Another exception to the rule, I mentioned earlier that we keep Armadillidium maculatum zebra isopods and Armadillidium klugai montanero clown isopods in 15 quart containers, and I love those in, uh, containers for them, but I also keep those two species in six quarts as well, and I keep them in six quarts as those are my selling tubs rather than bothering the isopods in the 15 quarts. It just works out so much easier for me to pull from the six quarts than bother the, the isopods in the 15 quarts. Now one size enclosure that I didn't mention in this whole video is a big clear enclosure. I want to move more into having larger enclosures so that in uh, glass tanks so I can see the isopods a little bit, but that's a whole new video. What do you think? Do these reasons make sense to have different size enclosures? Can you think of other reasons to uh, use six quart, 15 quart, 27 quart flats and 27 quart deeps or other size enclosures? Leave your comments down below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoy making these videos. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe, hit the notify all button so you don't miss another one of these videos. Thank you, Isopod fans, for watching. I really appreciate it.